Welcome to this fourth video in this series for the Religion Teacher's Guide to Lesson Planning, a free ebook available at thereligionteacher.com. My name is Jared Dees, the author and creator of The Religion Teacher. And today we'll be talking about the fourth step of the four step system of lesson planning laid out in the ebook. Um, first, we looked at the topic and the information that we wanted to teach. Um, we then created some lesson objectives. And then we decided on certain assessments to uh, measure progress towards those objectives. And today we're going to look at the process or the activities, the teaching strategies that we want to implement in order to get the students to reach the objectives. In other words, we're going to answer the question, how will I get them there? How will I get them to the objectives and to perform well on the assessment? And the way I, I frame this in the ebook is, is essentially that learning is a process, and process is an acronym that we'll talk about here in a, a minute. But all learning activities should um, get students closer to reaching a certain lesson objective. So the lesson objective is always in mind. And this is a challenge for a lot of teachers who start to do a lot of superfluous activities and, and crafts that, that really don't help um, accomplish an objective for the day. So that, that's, again, reiterating how important it is to have an objective um, when, when creating a lesson plan. So the second, choose activities and teaching strategies strategies So the things that you choose should be um, th thinking about the learning process. Um, essentially, this is how people learn. We learn when we, we have certain prior knowledge or, or um, understandings of things, um, preconceived notions. So when we receive new information, when we encounter new information, it's organized into the knowledge we already have. Um, and, and that new knowledge then we take and apply or use it in some critical way. And finally we kind of assess our progress um, at the end. And this is the acronym I created to, to help us help remember this, this process. That essentially we, in a lesson plan we want the, the students to start out with their prior knowledge and from their prior knowledge we, they're going to receive some new information. Um, the new information they could be receiving by reading, by, by listening to a lecture, by group discussions, by watching a video, um, looking at a picture, etc. And then we want students to organize that new information they're receiving in some way with the prior knowledge they already have. Um, the most common way of organizing is just simply taking notes in a number of different ways. Um, but essentially this is a step in which we, we take the new knowledge and we make connections with what we already know, and this is what we, we, we this is how we create understandings. Um, the C in process stands for two things: one, clarification and critical thinking. So in the O phase, if you're practicing certain knowledge or skills, C you're clarifying these things, and you're also starting to cr think critically. So you're applying what you've learned, this new knowledge, in, in some way that is not already given to you. Um, and finally, the ESS in process stands for assessment. Um, so we're essentially going to apply the, the assessments that we created in step two to this process to see whether or not the students really did achieve um, the objectives we laid out. So this step is all about choosing those teaching strategies. So we're going to select some um, learning process teaching strategies that relate to the objectives and correspond to the le assessment learning style. One key thing to remember is to make sure that with each R, with each um, activity or strategy you use to help students receive new information, that there's some type of an O activity as well, something for them to be able to organize and um, assimilate the information in some way. This is something that the teachers and catechists often forget to do. We also want to create and select some activities that will encourage critical thinking. Um, and making sure that we're including and writing the lesson assessments in the appropriate places um, throughout the lesson plan um, and making sure that we record the materials that we need in the lesson plan. Uh, so the resources that I have available, one is the teaching strategies matrix um, which we'll take a look at here in just a minute, the lesson plan and templates and also just that list of teaching strategies and activities um, in the back of the ebook. There's a list of 250 um, activities to choose